Hey guys, Pastor Andrew here. I'm standing in front of one of the most beautiful churches in lower downtown Nashville. It's the Holy Trinity Episcopal Church. This church was built to look very gothic of its time and it's absolutely amazing. It's absolutely beautiful and it's just amazing that it's still standing. But you know, as I walked around the property just looking at how beautiful it was and looking at the surrounding area, I was thinking to myself at how we live in a time now where there is literally a church on every corner, sometimes more than one church on every corner. So it makes you question, why is it with a church on every corner, religion as available as it is, the gospel as available made to us as it is, why is it that our society is falling apart at an exponential rate? Well, the answer to that question is that we are no longer in the churches. We're no longer dedicated to the Word of God. We're no longer submitted to Jesus Christ as a nation, as a people. And it's not going to be until we really, truly surrender our lives to God and get back into the houses of God, get serious and seek God's face, and turn away from the wicked ways of the world, and quit conforming to the, the things around us, that things will change. Jesus Christ has always been available. The Word is now available more now than ever. You can turn on your TV or walk to any corner in America and find a church, a gospel message, Bibles on every single shelf in every store, inspirational books, CDs, Christian music stations. We can't blame God. We can't blame preachers. We can't blame the churches for our falling away. We have gotten too busy for God. We have gotten so far away from the gospel and we are falling apart as a people. I want to encourage you right now. Don't get too busy for God. Churches like this have been around for a very long time with new churches being built even as I speak. The gospel message is there for you to hear. Faith is readily available to those that want to pursue it. Jesus Christ is the answer. He will and always will be the only way to heaven. Stop what you're doing. Take a moment. Go to church. Take your family by the hand and pray. Read the Word of God together. Seek God's face. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and all the other things that you're seeking will be added unto you. But nevertheless, put Jesus Christ first. Make a decision to do it and do it today. I love you. Be blessed in Jesus' name.